Harnessing solar energy is going to be a major thing. Power must be generated where it is used. I designed what's called as a one-building cities. Everything can be right there. Enormous change has happened um, in the past twenty-five years. What is your message to those sort of planning the next twenty-five years and the next twenty-five years? I mean, how should we be looking at this from uh, a generational perspective? See, uh, the next twenty-five years probably in the history of humanity is going to be very crucial in terms of what kind of corrections we make. So, we as a generation of people have this responsibility that in the next ten, fifteen years' time, at least at the policy level, all the right things happen. Why I'm insisting on the policy is, only when there is a policy change, the budget reallocations are there and a sustained movement towards that is there. Particularly major populations in the world like United States, Europe, China, India, if we make the right policies right now in the next few years, within the next three to five years I would say, then I think the rest of the world will follow. What advice would you give uh, to others in Asia keen to effect the kind of policy change that you have managed in India? One major uh, advantage for Asia is we are very sun-rich, sunlight is uh, not a problem for us. We don't call a sunny day a good day as you do in England <laughs> in, in, your, in northern part of United States, if sun comes out, everybody is saying it's a gorgeous day, I'm just looking, okay? Uh, I'm from South India, every day there is sun out there. So, harnessing solar energy is going to be a major thing. Technologies still need to go further, but uh, there are many solutions coming forth. I think this entire system that we went into in starting from early twentieth century, this power distribution grids, this must go. Power must be generated where it is used. Right now, you will see in any city probably, yeah, because yesterday I drove into Kuala Lumpur around 9 p.m. and every road was jammed. What's happening in every city is, those who live there work here, those who live here work there. I don't understand why. <laughs> so these are simple changes we can make. So I designed what's called as a one-building cities. We insist on calling them cities. I'm talking about fifty acres of land, you build only one acre, fifty floors and rest forty-nine acres, you just leave it, make it forested, make it water bodies. No waste going out of this land, easily it can be done, people will live much better. Everything can be right there, they can live there, they can work there, children can go to school there, they can shop there. Once a week if you want to go out somewhere, you can go, but daily there is no need to pull out your automobile. Automobile must become a recreation, that once in a way you take it out and freak it on the street, it's fine. But every day, everybody is driving and I see nobody is driving joyfully <laughs>